Hi, uh, this is a short tutorial on how to collect saliva samples using a uh, salivate uh, spit kit. Um, before we get started on how to collect the saliva, um, there's four things that you need to take into account. Um, the first thing is that you do not brush or floss your teeth before collecting the saliva sample. Also make sure you remove all lipstick and lip balm. Uh, secondly, do not eat or drink for about 30 minutes before collecting the saliva sample. Uh, next, allow yourself at least one hour during which you relax before collecting the saliva sample. This is because uh, high activity um, or excitement can also increase your cortisol levels. Um, finally, uh, make sure you collect the sample as directed by the experimenter. Uh, most often this is going to be around bedtime, but this can also vary by, um, by experiment. And now you're ready to collect your saliva sample. So the first thing you're going to want to do is take your um, spit kit canister here and remove the top cap, um, the blue cap, to expose the, uh, the round sponge that's inside. Um, but you're going to want to be careful here to not uh, remove the um, holder that the sponge is sitting in. Uh, so you're going to want to make sure you hold up tight on, on the canister and then just pull off the blue cap. The next thing you're going to want to do is place the sponge directly into your mouth um, by tipping the tube so that the sponge uh, falls into your mouth. Make sure you don't pull out the sponge with your fingers because um, that will contaminate the sponge. Now you're going to want to make sure you keep the sponge in your mouth. Um, very gently chew and roll the sponge around in your mouth for two minutes. And when you're done with that, you can just spit the sponge back into the tube, but make sure you don't touch the tube uh, with your fingers. And once you've done that, you can just take the um, blue cap and put it right back on the tube. And make sure the cap is on tightly and you're all set.